Hello friends, <coughs> questions and answers. Questions are very simple, answers are also very simple. Question, uh, question number one, what was the tradition in the small Texas school? The tradition was giving the scholarship jacket to the valedictorian at the graduation ceremony. A valedictorian is selected the student who continuously gets A grade from first standard to eighth standard. And about the scholarship jacket, there was a goldenness, a big goldenness. And also the student's name written in gold letters. That is the answer. What would be the meaning of a symbol? Skull. He's a scholar. Then uh, why Martha has only scholarship jacket, no sports jacket? Because he saw she could not participate in sports. Various reasons. Reasons are many. Registration fees, then trips out of uh, the town and lots of uh, uniform cost and all those things. So they have, she had no money. She had no money. So she had the only hope. Chance is getting the scholarship jacket. Describe her, Martha, pencil thin, then not even a gram of fat on her body. She used to be called by others by bean pot and string, string bean. And sixth, fifth question, what were, what was the argument between Mr. Boone and Mr. Shim? Shim was the master teacher and the Boone was his, uh, uh, Shimt was a uh, history teacher and Boone was mass teacher. So the argument was about the scholarship jacket. Whom, whom should they give? Should be given to uh, Martha or to Joanne? So that is all about that. Why do, why Mr. Shimt argued for uh, Joanne? For two reasons. One, she, uh, her father is on the board. What means governing board of the school? Second is her father owns the only store in the town. Then why does she say that there's a cruel, cruel coincidence that she overheard? When she overheard it, she almost was certain that she is not, she was not going to get it. That is, so she was afraid that she might not get the jacket, instead it might go to Joanne. So it was a cruel coincidence. Understand? That's the reason. Okay. So I have written from the board. I will read out for you. This I just gave you the main points. Now I will read out for you. You can listen or if you are, if you are interested in, you can also write down. Okay. Answer. Answer to question one, every year, what is the tradition? Every year during the eighth grade graduation, the scholarship jacket was awarded to the class valedictorian. It was a beautiful gold and green jacket. A big gold S was on the left front side and the student's name written in gold letters on the pocket. So it was, it was, the, there is a spelling problem, I, it, you should correct it as it. It was a beautiful golden green a jacket. Then two, the letter S represented the word scholar. And three, Martha could not participate in sports and win a sports jacket. Other reasons, if you want, you can write them, uh, such as, Registration fee, uniform fee, and also trips outside, she had no money to pay. Uh, fourth question, she was pencil thin, there was not even a green gr gram of fat <laughs> on her body. She was called bean pole and string bean. Fifth uh, question answer, Martha's teachers were arguing about the scholarship jacket, whether it should be given to Martha or Joanne. Sixth one, Mr. Boone was in favor of 
giving the scholarship jacket to Joanne because her father was on the board and he owned the only store in, in town. And seventh one, Martha overheard the conversation between Mr. Schimt and Mr. Boone. To her it was a cruel coincidence because she thought the scholarship jacket might be given to Joanne. Instead of instead of giving it to her. So I think that is very clear to you. Now it is a small mistake I told you here. It, it was a beautiful jacket example. I think it's clear to you now. Is there anything difficult in this? Very simple questions and very simple answers. Okay. So bye. We'll continue with this in the next class till then. Bye.